was there a point in AEW where you were like, I don't think I'm going to get re-signed here? It was. So this is the thing. People think that. So this is the situation. And people are going to take this and, and say, I'm just creating false narratives and, and craziness. So the plan was um, to bring me back to TV. And that's why they put me with. So Tony was like, listen, your act with Penelope, it was stellar. We have to find a way to kind of not replicate that, but we need an athletic female that we can pair you with so we can kind of do a similar act and uh, bring you back to TV. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I'll start looking on the Indies for gymnasts or former cheerleaders and stuff that can do some pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. So we looked at a few girls, and uh, we were on the fence about it because when the lights are on, it's going to be – you got to hit those – Big moves. Penelope was always able to do that. Yeah. And she she was really, really like teaming with me and doing the stuff with me on the Indies, CCW, and beyond wrestling. It was really like, all right, she didn't know what the hell was going on. Like she was trained by Drew Gulak. She 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 learned the basics pretty solid, but I'm like, listen, you're gonna have to do this. And you're going to have to hit it in one shot. Or you're going to have to do something this fucking crazy. And she was just like, all right, let's go. And that's that was basically our act. So Tony wanted something similar to that. So then I seen the girl Kayla. I seen clips of her doing Phoenix splashes and moonsaults and stuff. And found out that she was a former Olympic gymnast and a, a pro bodybuilder. I was like, wow, this is something different. This is This is great. And I was always a fan of early China with D-Generation X. I said... She could be China, mm. but with crazy... Like aerial moves. Aerial yeah. moves and just craziness. Yeah. So we pitched it to Tony. And Tony's like, yeah, let's bring her up. So where do you want to do it? Let's do a universal. I said, no. I said, let's do it in the United Center. I said, Is that? I said, I said let's, let's have her come out of the United Center and do something. Well, we debuted her there. And, uh, you know, I think she... She she just started training like within a couple months, so she got brought right in. I see her; she was training for two months. Brought her right into the United Center, one of the biggest shows in AEW history yeah. at that point. Yeah. So she, she did something. She power bombed Robert Anthony, but he kind of leaped into it. So he kind of looked, and she's not a, a wrestler, so she's on the mind to grab. He just hopped in just to make it look as good as possible. So that clip kind of went into. Tr- all the, the, the botch Twitters, the AEW botches, the, the botch kings. I don't I don't know what these fucking things are. So kind of like, fuck, okay. Tony yeah. said, oh, I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I got an idea. Let's do the match with Sonny. Uh, we did the heel turn on Sonny. I said, we're going to do a, uh, let's do a jersey versus jersey match credential for Dark. So, and then have her do something crazy afterwards. So, Sonny, so we had this match. We have 12 minutes on the board. We're about to go out. Okay, now you guys have six minutes. Mm -hmm. Tony's like, no, 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 five, five, five minutes. That's something that usually happens at TV. Like, fuck. Like, we're supposed to have this big match in our home state. Sold out, Prudential Center. We we absolutely aced that match. Like, it was nonstop action. Not a lot of selling, not a lot of psychology, but, man, that crowd was hot. One of the hottest crowds I've ever encounter one of my matches at AEW. It was, mm. it was awesome. We had him, and then we had her do the moonsault double stop with the chair on Sunday afterwards, and the crowd just lost it. Yeah. I said, okay, we have something. Yeah. And Tony's like, yes, now we have something. Okay. Everyone's like, yeah, we have something. Big Show is like, Big Show's like, this is a great act. This is something. You guys got something. Let's keep on working. Okay. Giving her advice. Everyone, everyone is really digging it, and some of the girls, of course, are like, who is this girl? She's not. She's been training for two months. She walks in off the streets and and is suddenly uh, getting on uh, something that we've worked so hard for for all these years. Yeah. But she, she, she becomes really cool with the locker room, and Tony says we have something. So, so the plan is, Tony said, okay, now let's – we're going to do another Sunny Kiss match. 
but he's so all, all over the place, so he's not really focused too much on the dark shit. So he says, all right, write this whole storyline. Create this whole storyline, which I did from the turn on Sonny. So I basically wrote everything, pitched it to Cody um, and QT, and, and, and they, they would feed it to Tony. And Tony, Tony's like, okay, let's go. So then we so, – so he said, okay, we just got to get this Sonny street fight match out of the way, the blow off. And then we can bring you back to TV and figure something out. Okay. So I said, okay, let's go. Yeah. I said, finally, back on TV. Let's go. I'm in great shape right now. Um, I, I got in the best shape. I was like, ready to go, TV. So we do the street fight, and uh, Tony says, you up? Just because we're bringing you back there. We're going to give you something. And uh, I said, okay, cool. So I beat Sonny in that match. and a Great match. Another great match with Sonny Kiss. So then, yeah, so then we're just rolling with the punches. I don't know what happened after that, but then um, the, the thing with Eddie Kingston, I super kicked him a little bit too hard and uh, broke his eye socket, which is unfortunate. Shit happens. Um, Do you, you think know. that that had, a, did that play into you being released? Uh, or not renewed? It was never, it was, there was no release. It was just a non-renewal and, um, there was chances are that I was going to be renewed, whether it be with Ring of Honor here from, but then I just ran my mouth uh, in an interview saying, I haven't heard from anyone. Yeah. What is going on? I guess I'm not getting renewed. So then. It, then, then did you hear from someone? No, no. Then I heard oh. that Tony was, he's hot about it. Yeah. Um, Cause it makes, it made, made him look bad, but um, made their, talent relations look bad, but at the same time, um, it made them, you know, improve their um, communications mm. with talent. Within that two-week period that I did that, the communications were a lot better. And uh, Did you hear very quickly after that interview came out with Denise? Did you I, hear, like, I didn't hear from anyone. Oh. So I you just heard like, through the grapevine that people were upset. I heard people were upset, but I also heard talent was hitting me up from the company saying you're 100 percent correct i said you spoke up and you're you're correct and uh that was that was cool for you to take that risk so, so you were like to to make an analogy here you're in that situation where you've had a bunch of dates with someone and then you're texting them and they're not responding you're yeah. like guess this is over then yeah yeah <laughs> so i said all right so denise wanted an interview i said i said you know what i said let's let's just do it you know i was just like i've had it you know, I stressed out, um, just uh, frustrated. Yeah, no sure. pun intended. I'm just frustrated. You guys will get that, but uh, it's just um, it's just a situation. But we create a lot of good out of it, and there's no. I haven't talked to Tony since, which is kind of. Uh, it's kind of a little. That's something that kind of irked me because we were so cool, mm. and we always. After the AEW shows, when AEW first started, you know, I would go out with him because he he knew I'd be the the one to stay up with him until seven in the morning drinking shots of tequila. So, so yeah, I I I, I assume he's still a little irked by it, but I, there's no hard feelings on either side. I mean, you said a lot of really, really, really nice things about your time in yeah, AEW. Yeah, yeah, but, but people take it out of context and they yeah. think I'm uh, some kind of asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm just real. I'm just not gonna. I'm not going to um, tell f fabrications or I'm not going to hold back on my experiences. Uh, I just think, uh, you know, I want to get something out. I'm a very emotional person. You know, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it out there. So there's no bridges burned between me and AEW. Uh, I'm friends with all the talent there. I'm in contact with all the talent there. Yeah. 